Hello world, this is Samir and I welcome you all on this particular video of AI Society and in this particular video we are going to make a very interesting project which is Write on Air project. The speciality about this particular project is that you don't need any kind of external files to implement and also you don't need any kind of data set to implement it's just this python file and you are good to go. You have to install opencv-python that means uh, you need to go to the command prompt and then you have to type pip3 install opencv-python and then pip3 install numpy to implement this particular project. Even if you don't have any experience in machine learning, you can implement this particular project with very, very, very ease. Okay, so before starting, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the bell icon for the more amazing videos like these. And also, you can follow me on Instagram. I, I post a lot of content on Instagram, a lot of informative content on Instagram to make your feed little bit productive so let's start with the video so if you don't have time to understand the uh, this particular code what you can do is you can click on the github link that is being pasted below in the description and you can simply copy and paste the program and you can you are good to go just install these two libraries and then you are good to go to implement this or if you want to if you want to have some explanation regarding the code then you can refer to this particular video so let's start with the explanation so what we are going to as you have seen in the preview code what what we are going to implement is we are going to have a window which was uh, in which we, we are going to write something and then that window will track whatever wherever we are moving our finger okay so that is what we are going to implement so let's start with the explanation so what we are going to do uh, we are going to uh, import these two important libraries which are opencv and also numpy Okay, these two libraries are more than enough, not more than, it's basically the enough to uh, to basically to implement this particular project. We are having these three uh, variables, global variables, we are going to make this global in uh, later on. So we are going to declare these three variables and then what we are going to do, we are going to call the video capture method which is the opencv's inbuilt method. What what the speciality of this method is you can you can type, you can, uh, you can uh, input your camera access you can input your video access on this particular video if uh, on this particular method so if you input the video path here so video path will be captured video path will be taken but if you put the zero as a integer then uh, then basically your web camera access will be triggered okay so make sure you do zero only because in this project you don't need to have this external video for it you can just put zero here and you're good to go now now before taking anything we are going to have a take input method which is which is going to accept bunch of parameters and what this method is going to do this method is going to create uh, basically it is going to capture the uh, event of left mouse button to start a project to start tracking you need to click a mouse button first okay the left mouse button to tell the program where the pen is located and then you can put your finger on that pen and then move your finger around whatever you want to do okay so for that we are using this left mouse button and uh, we are going to track that event of left mouse button and then what we are going to do we are going to create two uh, two window which is basically enter point okay enter point and in that you are going to click click the left mouse button and as soon as you uh, click it then it will uh, it will basically so basically i'm telling you what what is this doing this whole code this particular whole code what this is basically this uh, from this thing okay from this whole code is doing let me run you the program and then you will be able to understand in a much better way so yeah okay just a second the camera access i think is not there just a second okay 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 why is this is not uh, running because the camera access uh, is not there because camera is being used in the in the uh, video recording software so i can i think i cannot run the software for now but you will be uh, i'll be running once the camera is off don't worry about it so what this will do this will create a window this will create a window here okay and then it will name as enter point and then it will wait to take the left mouse button event it will wait for the left mouse button event so while true until the window is open you will be you will be having you will be uh, 
uh, you will be clicking the left mouse button and then the pen will be appeared at that particular point of point uh, where you have clicked the left mouse button okay so as soon as you click that then the uh, then automatically the the windows will be destroyed automatically and then your your what your project will be get started now what you have done is you have put your marker somewhere in the screen and now you have to put your finger there and then move along so we need to track each and every position where we are moving our finger and then we are going to display that in the form of uh, mask or something and also on the screen okay we want that so what we are going to do for that is we are going to uh, have uh, we are going to have this optical flow okay we are going to track the optical flow and uh, all these code that you are seeing here all these codes you are seeing here is what it, it is going to do is it is going to uh, it is going to track each and every location that your finger is moving so in this particular true method in this particular uh, while loop what it is what it is going to do until the window is open on the screen it is going to flip that image these are some basic steps of the open cv that you will be doing every time okay and uh, you have also done this here see you have also did this so you basically the image that that is being captured in the frame will be flipped and then it will be converted into gray color from using uh, color vgr to gray and then this particular function which is the main uh, reason why our project is getting successful is calc optical flow pi uh, r l k this particular function what it does is let me show you so when you search it on google you will see that this particular function is responsible for object tracking okay and there are many uh, other uh, other function available out there but we need to have the information about this function so all the information about this function is given here so basically just remember that this particular function calc optical flow pi r l k is responsible for our tracking of our what our tracking of our uh, the pen that we are moving around okay so this is uh, this is basically tracking our finger or uh, tracking our finger and the point that is being visible on the screen okay and after that uh, once you are once you have implemented this then what you can do is this code basically this code basically tells you that uh, uh, gives you the control over the flow control over the flow uh, let's say you want to break a line somewhere you want to break a line somewhere so for that you need q okay uh, you will see these q and w and n uh, on the screen where you are uh, you are being visible and uh, to see what this is doing so q is basically for the gap if you want to create a gap between your drawing okay you want to create a gap between your drawing you want to have uh, you want to disable the drawing feature you want to disable the drawing feature then it will be uh, it will be used it will be done using q here okay and then to start again you will be using w for it and then for n to clear the screen whatever whatever you have drawn on your screen then that will be cleared using n okay so q w n is basically doing this and now uh, you are going to show the result you, you are going to show the output here you are going to show the result here and then uh, basically it will wait for the escape key to it will be wait for the escape key or the enter key to destroy all the windows okay so basically uh, revising again what this is doing it will capture the frame from the webcam and then it will wait for the left mouse button to start your project and it will wait for it and as soon as you press the left mouse uh, left mouse button it will destroy all the windows and it will start your project as it will start your project at there only and then the optical flow will be get started and this particular function is basically responsible for starting your optical flow starting your uh, you know so not starting tracking your flow tracking your flow from finger and everywhere and then uh, after after tracking everything here after tracking everything here you can read about this function more in the link given in the description although you just need to implement it and then 
what you need to do you need to you need uh, you need to control you you want some control over the drawing that you are making so that q w and n will be used to uh, you know used to uh, have some control on the drawing that you are making so q will be used for gapping gapping in between and uh, w will be used to get start again and n will be used to clear all the screen and after that uh, you are using this font basically what this font is representing whatever the text that you are putting on the screen is basically show on this font you can change this font uh, as per your need okay and the github link is in the description you can go you can it is the updated code it will work in 2021 and 2020 both and this is basically on the python 3.8 that i'm working although lower version will be also be able to implement it and opencv is also on the latest version right now so go and implement it and tell me in the comments whether whether it is feasible whether you are able to implement or if you're facing any problem just comment down and don't forget to follow me on instagram i forgot a lot i post a lot of content there and you will be having a lot of information in your feed so that's it for this video and now we're going to exit and uh, thank you so much for watching we'll meet in the next video